Parts of a transmission sent from the future or from a parallel world were picked up by a new space communication system. These messages speak about languages, cities, and technologies that do not exist in our reality. They speak about a past that is still in our future. Listening to these broadcasts, some people cry because they feel connected in some way. Get ready. You will listen to these transmissions now. Alien Biology in My and Your Timelines I have sufficient information to suspect that you and I belong to the same timeline. Some people think that history is written through wars. Although there is some truth to this, I'll try to do something different. These are some of the facts that I suspect that we both share in our history books. In the year of 1996, a brilliant scientist named David McKay and his team from NASA found uncontaminated evidence of Martian microbiology in a meteorite from Mars that fell on Earth thousands of years ago. If you don't believe me, you can search for it. The meteorite's ID is ALH84001. In the year of 2002, further evidence of Martian life was published by Thomas Kepperta and colleagues also analyzing the same meteorite. Few years later, scientists from India and the United Kingdom sent balloons to the stratosphere to collect material falling to Earth. Balloons were sent so high that it was impossible for them to be contaminated from Earth while sampling. They timed their experiments with the probability of finding space dust and asteroids. In all of their experiments, they found biological organisms falling to Earth. Again, this work involved brilliant scientists including Milton Wainwright and Chandra Wickramasinghe. They believed that they found extraterrestrial life, and they were right. Richard B. Hoover, another brilliant scientist, also found evidence of extraterrestrial life in not only one meteorite, but in a number of them. In his work, he showed high-resolution electron microscope images of complex and beautifully preserved alien microfossils from alien biology. With so much evidence, it's hard to argue against his findings. I have something else for you to check. In my timeline, one of the most important events has a precise location and a precise date for you to check. Starting from 25th of July of the year 2001, in India, in Kerala, there were red rains over a few hundred kilometers for up to a month. When scientists analyzed the red rain, they found biologic living organisms, cells, with red coloration. Although these cells were evidently alive and able to reproduce, tests for DNA revealed absence of DNA. Let me repeat, the red rain was composed by biologic organisms capable of reproduction without DNA. I would like to specially thank scientists Godfrey Lewis and Kumar Santosh for studying and documenting one of the most important events of my timeline. In India, Kerala experienced a rain of DNA-free cells from alien origin. With all this information, the next time that you look at the reddish cracks of the Europa moon of Jupiter, I hope that you'll feel curious about it. The next time that you see bluish portions of land in the planet Mars, I hope that you'll feel curious that maybe you aren't just looking at geological processes. You can probably now understand why there was a scientist in the urban complex of Ares disproportionately loving his little green plant. If your experiment fails to detect DNA, please do not drop your curiosity. 
We are not supposed to study to prove that the previous generation was right. We have the duty to prove them wrong. I expect the next generation to prove myself wrong. I gave you the facts. I gave you the names. It's now time for you to check if you and I belong to the same timeline. But I have to warn you, mainstream media and real science do not share the same goals.